Good morning everyone, this is Sage and welcome to the Executive Corner Expert Talks. And in our 20 minute roundup today, we have Mr. Grant Hatamosa, the CEO of Zen Ecosystems. And we're going to delve into the world of Internet of Things, which are a myriad of devices known as smart or intelligent. And today's guest will share insights on how you can enjoy a home and office space that is acclimatized to suit your comforts without leaving as harsh a carbon footprint. So as you know, we bring you the industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates, all under the one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets. So in today's show, we have Mr. Grant Hatamosa, CEO of Zen Ecosystems. Welcome, Grant. Thank you, Sage. Good morning, everyone. Well, since you've made time for us amidst your busy schedule of seminars and meetings, mm -hmm. we'd best make a start. Yep. So Grant, comfortable doesn't have to be complicated. I love the mm -hmm. sound of that. How do your solutions help your customers to achieve their energy savings and sustainability goals, please? Yes, I think that's a very good question, Sage. So as a business, our core focus is to make the clean energy transition simple and easy for small and medium businesses. How we do this is we enable businesses to take control of their energy usage, combining IoT devices like our thermostat with sophisticated and powerful software as a service software called Zen HQ. And we envision that by 2023, that we have empowered small and medium sized businesses to reach 100% carbon neutrality and inspire them to sell and achieve sustainability goals. Fantastic. That sounds like an amazing uh, ob objective to try and achieve. So. For businesses is one thing, but for the households, mm -hmm. jargon like sensors, actuators, gateways, WAP, etc., can be quite daunting if you are not mm -hmm. in the sector. What kind of support can you um, offer your clients when they um, try to realize a carbon-free future? Yeah, so what we do that, and you are absolutely right, it could be daunting, Sage. What we do is with our partners that they can expect that our team will work very closely with them in finding that right balance of maintaining a positive site experience while achieving their sustainability goals. How we do that is we actually work with, let's say, a program manager looking after such a program in articulating the value that Zen HQ has added to the business and the community in general. So how we articulate that could be through charts saying, here are our metrics of success. We also then convey and communicate effectively how it impacts the site, the home, the, the users on that site as well. Also with our recent Zen HQ uh, upgrades, uh, we are adding new and innovative ways to help our customers optimize their use of green energy and manage their usage in pursuit of zero carbon uh, buildings. I really like the sounds of that, zero yes. carbon emissions. Is it really possible to decrease our carbon footprint even in the domestic sphere? So you provide solutions for small to medium enterprises, but also solutions for homes. Can you take us through the range of your products, please? Yes, more than happy to say. So Zen combines IoT devices with smart thermostat and lighting control with our cloud-based software, Zen HQ. This is to deliver customer-centric solutions that reduce energy consumption and maximize the use of clean energy resources. So Zen HQ's sustainability module helps businesses and homes realize their sustainability goals by leveraging real-time clean energy data. So the home or the business could actually see if the national energy market is using more clean energy or not. And it then allows us to optimize the HVAC and lighting controls if there is less clean energy in the wholesale market. So that's one we do. The other thing that we have also done is that with this sustainability mode, controls can be automatically run at times where energy is cleanest. With this automated emissions reduction, businesses and homes can lower their CO2 production and leverage green energy without impacting their energy costs and the device functionality to, so that they could still maintain the same comfort level that they have we, we, before this solution is put into place. Sounds very convenient from what I know about Internet of Things devices is that you can run them remotely from your smartphone, etc. Mm -hmm. So what makes you different from your competitors? Good question again, Sejo. For us, Zen, as, we, as far as we know, is the only company that is pursuing the convergence of IoT 
software and building controls with a primary focus on sustainability and simplifying the clean energy transition. So while our products will drive significant savings and efficiency while maintaining comfort, we believe that we are the only company with a primary mission of simplifying the clean energy transition and helping businesses achieve their sustainability goals. And for us, the, the main win-win difference for our customers when they have Zen is that they could have a very cost-effective control solution, a potential source of revenue and savings through demand response and other incentives, a powerful source of data for control of alerts, as well as runtime analytics, and predict and budget for the HVAC service. A very simple and easy to install, and then train the workforce when they're deploying our solution, and then use from an end user point of view. And then there's also instant source of savings and control with full and partial on-site lockouts and organizational level programming for HVAC and lighting. Wonderful. So it offers a lot of functionality. So how does mm -hmm. it integrate into existing systems? If a house already has some smart devices, is it quite easy to integrate the Zen ecosystems um, fun function as well? Yeah. Yes, it is. So what we have done is we have done uh, we have undergone some strategic partnerships with companies like Google, uh, Amazon, where we're actually integrating directly into and, and Samsung. So our solutions are all integrated with with the works with Alexa, with the Google Assistant, and also the smart uh, Samsung Smart Things. So if a home already has smart devices that are connected to this platform, then it's just really a button press away to integrate it into Zen HQ. And then they can then start using their energy more intelligently, wherein if it's cleanest, if the energy source is cleanest, that means we have more solar, more wind, more hydro through the national energy market then they could use the, that energy. While when it is not as clean, then they could start optimizing their energy use. And that's all done in the background without the user having to do anything. That's fantastic. Sounds like a really convenient, cost-effective, and of course, sustainable system. So we've ha heard about some Internet of Things devices having cyber risks. What are your near-term pipeline goals for your company? Does it involve a focus on having secure connections for your devices? We definitely have security as, uh, on top of mind, uh, Sage. So as we work with people's home, we always know that for them, it's always the nagging feeling like what if some, some intruder could come in. And for us, security is the top of mind. And what we have done is we've made sure that we have run all the appropriate testing. We adhere to all this, the uh, best practices in the industry, uh, not only here in Australia, as well as in North America as well. So we have you, our customers should have the peace of mind that when they incorporate our solution into their buildings, into their homes, that it is highly secured and it will not let any intruders get in through our system. Well, thank you for sharing your insights today. You're obviously in the forefront of the energy management sector, and thank you for making time for us. What, where do you see the industry going in the next few years? So we actually see that this industry is looking at a more holistic approach for energy management and an eye towards an impact on sustainability being a KPI, not only for the big business, but also the small and medium uh, sector. So what we're really trying to do, Sage, is how do we simplify that transition? How do we make it simple for businesses and homes to avoid greenhouse gas? How to reduce their CO2 emissions? And we want to also then show and convey that when we you do this, that you don't have to make it super hard. You don't have to make it really expensive for yourself, for your customer. And that's where Zen could be the right partner for you if you are a business thinking of um, deploying this as part of your sustainability program, or if you're a homeowner trying to look at your energy retailer or your uh, network provider to say, I really need to be able to be sustainable, talk to them about Zen. We, we have technologies and a platform that is able to do that. That is fantastic. It certainly does sound like the way forward and with plenty of opportunities to look into it. Uh, Grant, I hope you get many um, viewers checking out your website. Would you please be able to let us know what your website is before we wind up for today? Yeah, I'm more than happy to. So our website Sage, is www.zenecosystems.com. Perfect. Thank you so much for making time for us today. But that's all we have time for.
So viewers, if you are just joining us, we just had a very interesting chat with the CEO of Zen Ecosystems, Mr. Grant Hatamosa. If you'd like to catch the full interview, please check out our YouTube channel in the next couple of days, Kalkai Media. And with that, I will sign off, but watch this space and as we say, stay apprised and invest advised with Kalkine.